You know what I've realized? The Seiko 5, it's the Honda Civic of watches. They're cheap, reliable, and everything is interchangeable. So let's take a look at a few of mine. Hey guys, I'm Max and welcome back to Hope Once. So sometimes you wanna spice up the look of your watch or maybe you have some custom creation in mind. In either case, we turn to watch modding to scratch that itch. Now, I know it can be intimidating to crack into the case of a watch, but I think as long as you're not taking apart the movement, most things can be done with simple hand tools. I started by changing a bezel or some hands and eventually I am now finding myself shaving down dials and trying to blue my own hands with a torch. Anyhow, the rabbit hole goes only as deep as you're comfortable with. And today I'm going to show you three Seiko 5 based creations of my own. The parts and tools used for these watches are going to be listed in the description below. First up is this Flieger style piece derived from a Seiko 5. Now I've owned a number of Flieger watches from German manufacturers like Stoa and Zinn, and one thing I never grew into was their size. Now granted there is historical accuracy to this given that they were worn by pilots, often outside of their suits and gloves, and needed to be large for legibility. However, I don't remember my last dogfight and this 37mm Seiko case is much more subtle on my modest wrist. The high contrast loom indices are stark against the matte black dial, much like the Zinn watches this look is based on. I kept it simple by retaining the ubiquitous 7S26 movement as not to have to mess with the date wheel. With its stubby hands, there is just something adorable about a mini pilot's watch. And with these dimensions, it makes for a perfect beater around town. So I eventually sold all of my German Fliegers because there is just something special about this little guy. I think I'll call him Goose. Here we have a tale of resurrection. The story behind this Alpinist style was that it was salvaged from a broken watch. A couple of millimeters were shaved off from its circumference to fit it into the Seiko SNK L09 case. It retains what we love most about the green Alpinist, which was its radiant sunburst dial providing the backdrop for those glowing gold markers. Notice this is the rare Seiko 5 model with a 3 o'clock crown and a 20 millimeter lug width. Along with those crown guards, it gives this watch a rugged persona. A slightly domed sapphire crystal and a hacking NH35 movement finished off the package and a leather NATO brings out all kinds of delicious earth tones. We've unfortunately lost the loom pips around the periphery, but those aftermarket cathedral hands still have plenty of pop in the light and in the dark. It's a privilege to have been able to give this iridescent dial a second lease on life. Okay. Before we look at the last watch, I just want to say how much fun it has been to share this hobby with you guys. You know, watch modding really proves to me that watches is not about showing off how much money we have, but about the connections that we build with these things that accompany us on our wrists. And with that said, if you like videos like this, I encourage you to scroll down and hit the subscribe button. It'll just take one second. You can do it while you watch this. 
Uh, it'll help us out and you'll get a reminder next time a video drops. Okay, getting back to the watches. So with this last one, I have to warn you, I get a little bit, how would you say, uh, unorthodox. You know how they say the best ideas come to you early in the morning? Well, I woke up one Sunday with this vision and dove into my parts bin. The case here is from a company called Tiger and it usually holds a Miyota movement. I had this dial from Maine left over from a previous project and that watch used an ETA 2824. Lastly, the hour and minute hands are spares from a Seiko Sarb 035 that was cannibalized. Together, they make up this blue diver that is part sporty and part dressy, almost like the new Blue Bay or a vintage Tudor. The dimensions remain manageable and much of the thickness comes from a highly domed acrylic crystal, giving off a nice off-angle distortion. The dial was too large for the case, requiring a bit of Dremel work. Its feet also needed to be removed and the dial taped to the movement spacer. And notice that the minute hand just barely clears the chapter ring. Power is derived from a Seiko NH35, keeping movement and hands compatible. With a lot of massaging, it all fits together as a package, and a handsome package at that. And when the shoe fits, you wear it. And in this case, you wear it proud. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my latest creations. I have to say, it's such a great feeling to be wearing a one-of-a-kind watch that you built yourself. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave and comment below if you have any questions. Also, share your creations with me on Instagram. You can find me at HopeOnce. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.